WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 4 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday as we reach the closing bell. And it's been quite a market as we've made a charge for higher prices, even in the final few minutes of trading. We have the Dow just about 20 points in the negative, trading at 26,784, had been down over 100 at much point in the morning. You have the S&Ps up three points, finishing in the positive after being in the negative for most of the day. S&Ps finishing at 29.79. And now NASDAQ, the leader, up 43 points, trading at 81.41. Amazon finishing higher as well. We'll jump over to that in a moment. And you have the Russell down just one point in the red at 15.60. And we'll start it off with Amazon. Quite a run today for Amazon, up 1.66%, reaching 19.90 at one point on that run. Quite a day for sure. Apple as well, having a day up about half a percent. Jumping over to the futures markets to see how we finished off. We'll start it with the NASDAQ 100. As you can see, almost session highs within the last 10 minutes. Quite a day, the whole day, trading upward, 78.47. S&P 500 from about 3.30 right up until 3.50. Quite a run. We're right near that level of 29.82 in the S&P. There's your... Dow 30, briefly above 26,800, had been positive, actually made it by a point or two into positive territory briefly before pulling back up, down about 20 points right now for the session, 26,780. Crude oil contract bouncing around a bit, a half hour from right now. We have our man Larry Pesavento. He is coming up just in a few minutes, but a half hour from right now, he'll be live on the air at 4.30. You get the crude numbers, inventory numbers for API. Should be interesting to see how crude reacts. Currently trading right at $58. Gold contract hovering right around 1400 under that level currently at 1398 and the euro US dollar trading at 11206. In terms of what else you had out there fundamentally today as you had the US China trade talks, some news in terms of trade representative Lighthizer Mnuchin speaking with their kind of counterparts from China. Well, yesterday, the market liking that news, potential for a deal maybe to break. And keeping in mind, of course, what we have coming up is Chairman Powell begins tomorrow and Thursday. He'll be in front of Congress making his semi-annual address. Should be interesting to see how that plays out with the market, with bonds, as we have bonds right now. The 10-year, 2.06% as we come into that Fed watch. Stay tuned, folks. We got a treat. Larry Pesavento filling in for the hour for Tom O'Brien, live from 4 till 5 Eastern time. Should be a great hour. Stay tuned. Larry Pesavento coming up right now.